Good morning. I'm literally the only person with a tent. The only one. Stupid enough. Bloody cold. But I did use my good sleeping bag in the end last night. I managed to keep it dry, so I wasn't too bad. It was quite cozy. <sighs> Why are the clouds down here? Fuck off. Look. Go away. It's like 6.45 and I'm just going to take it easy today. space. It's got a kitchen. It's got a living room and in the living room. So many sockets. Um, and then it's also got laundry, which I didn't use because I'm not halfway through my stuff yet. And then it's got like loads of bathrooms, like actual bathrooms. my campsite if anyone is passing through preferred it is i think it's like 17 pound 50 a night to camp and they also have lots of cabins and things that you can have but very expensive since i am determined to take it easy today i'm just gonna sit with my phone on charge until those clouds go away and then i'm gonna hopefully pack up a dry tent and then hit the road i don't know where i'm going i'm gonna try and kind of get towards like trondheim area I don't really know which route I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna let the BMW sat nap decide. I slept okay last night. I didn't need to wake up to go to the toilet, but a couple of times like a helicopter came past, like really close. Um, so that was annoying, but you never know what a helicopter's being used for, so you're not allowed to feel irritated by them. It's raining again. So that's, that's answered my question. I'm getting an Airbnb, fuck this. A nice Norwegian man came over to ask me some questions and he was surprised that this is a BMW. He said it looked like a Chinese rice cooker. <sighs> um, I, think, I think I'm done trying to speak Norwegian now because if Norwegian people can say things like that in English with no problems, then there's absolutely no point in me trying. All right, let's pack this shit up. Okay, it stopped raining. It is weird here, I don't understand the weather because we haven't really had a lot of like hardcore rain yet. It's just been endless drizzle. Apparently it gets better up north. But that's coming from the bloke who said that Pinky looks like a rice cooker, so I'm gonna ignore him. There's a hill behind that, honest. We have another rainbow. This place just has so many rainbows. We stopped here because look how beautiful it is. Yeah, okay, we're on a bus stop, but it's fine. Look at that. Okay, check this out. Just on the main road to Trondheim. get on another boat but it isn't for another 40 minutes 
but it's not raining, the sun is out, it's warming up a little bit, so it's nice to just stand around, to be honest. Look where we are. So I'm okay with this. I'm gonna have a little drink of some water that I've kept on the bike. I'm really, really hungry. Um, I've set the sat nav to take me towards Trondheim, but via a certain town so that it's forced to take me on fun roads. But when I get to the end of the sat nav, it's the first half of the trip, I'm gonna find a cafe and get some breakfast because I'm bloody hungry. There's absolutely no complaining here. Finally. Oh, all this time I could have been looking for fish. Wonder how long this boat takes. I think it's going to be a long one. It's our third boat of the day. nice Airbnb for myself and it's not too far away either so I'm having a lazy one today. I'm just not getting the nails done quick enough. I'll give up. Another So number four. The last one. Oh my god I'm tired. I don't know how many miles I've done today. I think it's probably like 200. It's not that many. But I am exhausted. I am looking forward to getting to my Airbnb. Plugging my phone in, connecting to their Wi-Fi, and watching Gossip Girl for a bit. That is what I want to do. I'm very happy. I got a fairy pay account. Wow, it's windy. Sorry if you can't hear this. I got a fairy pay account so that now I can just ride on and ride off again. And I don't have to wait for someone to take money off of me. It just records my number plate and records my journeys. And charges it automatically to my card. So that's easy. Right, I'm at my Airbnb, I'm trying to dry my fucking tent off, it's absolutely soaked after what it's had to deal with. I don't think this is going to work because it's probably just going to rain again, but I'm doing my best. This is my Airbnb. It's um, basically this guy's just got um, a bunch of units and I guess this one he's not using so he's turned it into an Airbnb. Got all of this to myself. Um, here's the other half of my tent. I'm making their room all wet, which is really nice of me, but I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> I have yet to find out if there's Wi Fi. I'll take what I can get at this point. I'm sure no one will mind if I use that digger to dry my tent out. There's no Wi-Fi here, but I don't care. I'm drying all my stuff out. Everything is wet. I think that'll be dry enough to come inside now. I'm gonna call it a night. I realise that a lot of this video has not been very um, good sound quality. Sorry, I don't realise how loud the things around me are. Um, and then I talk quietly. So I'm sorry that you can't hear a lot of it, but I will do better. Tomorrow I am heading up to, um, I've forgotten the name of it already, oh my God. Grong, it's called Grong. What a great name for a place. Um, and it looks like that's not gonna take too long. And then I'm almost within the Arctic Circle, so that's exciting. So I'll see you tomorrow, goodbye.